Ryan hit the campaign trail running in Iowa today. He went head-to-head -head with President Obama. Now, Ryan and Republican presidential hopeful Mitt Romney are both in battleground states. Romney's in Florida, where he's expected to get the party's official nomination at the convention later this month. And Ryan is in Iowa, which is also where President Obama is stumping. But watch what happened here. I, I, I think it's... I think it's become... We're speaking from something called, they call Mox at the Iowa State Fair. Just to put this in perspective, look at that, though. Officers dragging some ladies out of there. And candidates have been heckled before on the soapbox. In fact, Mitt Romney's speech was interrupted while campaigning there last year. Now, also in Iowa, President Obama wasted no time going after Ryan, taking him to task over a farm bill that's been stalled in Congress. Obama said that he feels for Iowa's farmers who have been suffering from the current drought, but he blames Ryan and other members of Congress for blocking that bill from passing. You know, Paul Ryan, everything about him the last three days has been about the political perspective. But there's an economic perspective to this guy, and that's why he's been such a flashpoint. He put forward a budget plan that has ideas to deal with the long-term deficits we face for Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security. Now, let's take Medicare and Medicaid. The costs are growing fast, fast, fast. It's really a financial train wreck when you add it into an aging population. What he's proposed is he wants to restructure the program to save money. But for people in the program right now, Medicare, no change at all. In fact, even for you, because the changes he's proposing wouldn't happen for another 11 years. But here's his idea. Instead of covering health care like the government does now, what it would do is it would cover a portion of private plans with fixed amount vouchers. Right now, Medicare and Medicaid are what are known as open-ended programs. You become eligible, whatever it costs to treat you, they do. Now, seniors would have the choice. You'd be able to get health care from the private market or stick with traditional Medicare. But those costs would be capped, too. Now, the health care spending problem has a long ways to go. We got a lot of issues with it because of the spending involved, the debt involved. So here's what we face as a country. Let's, let's just lay this straight out. If we continue the benefits we do now, we're going to have to have more taxes to support it. If we go to a voucher kind of program, we may be able to hold taxes down, but then you as an individual will have to pay more for your health care. You know what's going to happen in November? you're going to decide which path you want the country to take.